Coronavirus closes schools. What does that mean? Sure, it's giving school leaders an opportunity to wrap their heads around the illness and to get in a few deep cleans. For working parents, though, it could be tough because we still need childcare. But for many students, it could mean no food. They depend on the meals they receive at school. So what now? What else would you expect? The great people of Delmarva are stepping up and stepping in. Pastor Martin Hutchison is rounding up the troops. He's with the community of Joy Church in Salisbury. Thank you so much for coming yeah, in. Thanks thank for you. having me. Yes, can you talk to us about the program on which so many kids rely? <laughs> <laughs> so indeed, uh, the need is there. And uh, I've been in shelter mode these last three weeks uh, because we've been operating in a homeless shelter. And I never even thought about it when I heard about schools closing. And a friend of mine who manages Runaway Bay, Courtney Deason, contacted me on Facebook and said, hey, if you're doing anything to feed the kids, we're in. And I thought, oh, that's a need. We need to address it. And so I emailed the Board of Ed uh, Director, Food Service Director, Eric Gosley, last night and said, is there a plan? And he said, we're working on it. Uh, details to come. So we're hoping that we will be able to partner with the Board of Ed in various locations around the city uh, to address the need that is here, maybe even the county. Uh, also working with Jermichael Mitchell, who is the youth specialist for the city of Salisbury in uh, forming other locations to address the need that's there. And for those who, who are not familiar with your work in the summertime, you have a summer lunch yes. program. So you see the students that come out and participate in that? We do. And uh, we're planning to run that these next couple of weeks, if it's two weeks, three weeks, whatever it is, mm -hmm. uh, using Board of Ed uh, food that's prepared um, Monday through Friday at least yeah. uh, to address the need just like we do in the summer. Sure. Now, how can the community get involved? Well, uh, I've seen lots of posts on Facebook where community uh, businesses are stepping up, offering. I uh, was at an event today at Parkside High School for the opening of their um, greenhouse. And uh, Zach Evans from Mount Air uh, heard what I was doing and s gave me his card and said, hey, if you need protein, contact us. So, you know, lots of businesses are getting involved. Cool. Uh, I think just watch social media. It's all unfolding. I don't have any plans uh, yet in firm, but I'm hoping to have something before the day's over so we can be ready on Monday. That, to, to you know, it, it just gives me chills to see how all of this is unfolding. As a, as a community leader, that has to make you feel good it as does, well. It does. It does. And it's really cool. I mean, what is best about our community is our community members. Mm -hmm. And they're coming together like they always do. Uh, my daughter shared my original post this morning. And I saw about eight or nine teachers from Pinehurst Elementary School that already said, we're in, count us. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be there. So if you're a family that needs help, how can, how can they receive it? So watch uh, city and county Facebook pages. We'll try to communicate that way. Um, I don't know how else to to say to Other communicate. than social media. Social yeah. media is Yeah, because be this is, it. it's, it's unfolding so fast. It is, yeah, it is. And you know, what, what, what's planned right now will be different than uh, at noon and maybe even change by five o'clock. Okay. And we'll try so. to keep people informed on our Facebook page and, you, and our website as for, well. For the Camden Community Garden area, you can check the Camden Community Garden Facebook page. That's where we'll put the updates about what we're doing there. I don't know about other areas in the city or county. Okay. All right, Pastor Martin Hutchinson, as always, thank you Thanks. so much for here. all you do. Thank you.